creativity. Okay? And we all have a, a creative side of us. There's different emphasis that we have when it comes to our creativity. But we come from uh, uh, folks who are creative, right? And so creativity is to, to, to do always as much as we can in the way we can in order to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited it. Any yes. young people like to speak about the Umba creativity? I saw it all calling up and calling you saw it sitting around. Creativity. Mm. You're, you're, you're an artist, right? No, that's not really artist. Oh, you're a custom artist? Yeah. Alright. Okay. That's good at all, creativity. <laughs> that's, that, that's creativity. Just trying to be more um, aware of what I put in my body on a regular basis. Uh, our, our black community always, we, we brought up what we, uh, from slavery time, the, um, the unhealthy eating, uh, because of what, how we had to eat when we was enslaved, we had to eat the rest of the pig because we didn't have, you know, the meat or anything like that. And, um, one thing I learned uh, over the last couple of years is that we, that's not what the main thing was eating before we came to this country. That's what the Europeans brought as far as what they wanted to eat. And so we picked up an unknown eating over a decade, gener generationally. And um, I'm just trying to start. I mean, my dad started with me because he was eating all the main younger. Uh, he didn't eat a lot of beef, a lot of pork. And I just, you know, Taking a further listen to uh, different dietitians about a plant based diet, where uh, eating more um, plants, raw, raw uh, plants, herbs, and, uh, and, and, um, and uh, fruits, and uh, different types of bread and stuff like that, uh, in order to keep my body as healthy as possible. For me, I'm trying to you know, teach others about it as well, especially those who are already in a vegan diet. And, and trying to learn to make different type of recipes with those type of uh, ingredients. It's difficult because I don't know what. I can't use eggs, I can't use uh, bleached flour, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I can't use, you know, trying to, you know, bring out sugar. This is it's real hard, but it's, it's making me think of what can I do different the next time. It's a great tip. It's a great Real quick, um, unfortunately, you know, one thing that I was a teacher, I learned that um, I need to learn kind of be like Walt Disney. What I mean is that, you know, when teaching the kids about our history, it's important for them to have fun with it. It's hard, you know, I know we want to be hardcore and be like, yeah, 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 let's get this in. But it's like, honestly, that's not really going to work. I mean, it tr you can try it, but you're going to only make it so mad. It's going to make you go crazy. And then you're going to be upset. Like, how come my people won't do this for me? And it's like, you know, you, you got to be creative. And it's hard because we're because in this time, you know, our, especially our black kids, they consume, but they don't produce. And like my brother keeps on saying, producing and consuming are two different entities. A lot of times we think, well, our kids consume a lot. They should be produced. No, they're two different things. The kids who produce a lot don't, don't consume. Actually, they produce more. Because why, what's the point of consuming? I don't need to consume so much. Um, but you know kids do consume, there's nothing wrong with that. But the last thing I say is definitely for our kids and for our parents, and also for adults. Also I say then for our adults, adults need to be producers too. Don't be afraid to be creative. Yes. Do not be afraid to be creative. Like, especially as adults. Because if you, you know, you're, so that way your, parents, your kids can see that you're being creative too, they can move on to that too. So the parents, especially as adults, we have to start doing that a lot more because we are the future, and we are the ones that's doing it better. Like, I, one of my target examples, I wish, you know, I see my brother Stephen more, but I can't get mad at brothers named Stephen if the tuition's getting higher, and it's hard, hard for brothers to go to East Bay and San Jose and back to some school state like it used to be where, you know, we used to drive everywhere, and that's because tuition was $1,600 a semester. You know what I'm saying, for full time. Now, I know that's probably at the 1600 at CSU, and you see Berkeley's probably crazy, so, those aspects of, well, I want to see Brother Step in, how I'm going to make Brother Step, so I got to be more creative because I want to see Brother Step more, but I can't complain if I don't put money in their pocket. I'm the elder, I'm the elder now. I can't, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be, no, I don't want to be the complaining elder no more. That's not fun.
Look at that. I'm the solution only solution. And how we develop a new culture yes. that actually leads to this. We've got to get creative. Yes. It's not uh, just look at it and do it. It's yes. um, an act. And creativity truly art is spiritual. Right. It is a spiritual thing. Like if I just started singing right now, I would not be rehearsed or nothing. Right. We'd be like, oh, but you know, no, don't sing please. But it would be me being creative. Just, you know, spontaneous spirit. And we have to do that with one another, especially in relationships. Men and women, we should be creative with one another. Yeah. And so we entice one another and we want to stay together. We want to have a family. Hello? I'm Hello. speaking from all the personal reality. I share it. So it's a personal thing for me. So we must be creative again in how we build our families and our community and create, create, create. You know what I mean? Yes. Awesome. You asked me. You might.